Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this Power Up webinar on working with text and titles inside Final Cut Pro 10. Final Cut has changed entirely how it works with titles, providing titles with animation and with much greater facility than we've ever had to work with before in any version of Final Cut, and showing you how they work is the whole purpose of this session. By the way, we have a new subscription service. All of our online video tutorials and webinars are now available via subscription. This is a fast and low-cost way to access all of our online training. This includes all of our Final Cut 10 training and Adobe training, plus all our webinars and tutorials. For one low monthly fee, you get streaming access anytime, anywhere via the Internet. Plus, subscribers can attend any of our live webinars for free. To learn more, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. Titles are synthesized video clips. They're very similar to generators in both Final Cut 7 and Final Cut 10. Titles do not refer to any media that's stored on your hard drive, though when you do add them to the timeline, they create render files. Titles automatically appear above any existing clips in your primary storyline. This is called super imposition or supers if you want to impress people at parties. Titles are generally found in the Titles browser and have a default duration of about 10 seconds, though titles also appear in the Themes browser. The exciting news is that titles can be created or modified in motion and then sent over to Final Cut Pro 10. So let me show you how to add, modify, and remove a title. Use spell check and grammar check to make sure a title is spelled correctly. Format and modify title text and title animation. Use the font style menu and create text presets. Apply and modify transitions. Find and replace text in one or more titles. And create an animated title in motion that we can use in Final Cut Pro 10. So let's start with something simple. Let's add a full screen title to a sequence. Let's say that this is my project and I want to start with a full screen title. We'll go over to the Titles browser. It's the one that's got this letter T on it. On the left-hand side is a list of all the categories that our titles are sorted in. When I select a category, for instance, all, all of my titles or all of my build-in and build-outs or all of my lower thirds are displayed on the right-hand side. If you want to search for a particular title, type the search text down here inside the search box. It will search only inside the category that you have selected. To clear the search box, you can either select the text and delete it, or you can click here in the X and delete any text that you've got. Let's create a full screen text. So let's go back up to All, and let's look for a title called Ink. And there's this one. If I double click it, it says there's nothing in this project. How do you want the project configured? Let's make it a 720p high definition project and click OK and the title is now added. As we play this, we see that there's some animation, and we have the word title. The easiest way to change the text in a title is to select the title itself. Let's move toward the end so we can see what we've got. Go up to the viewer and double-click on the text and type in the text that you want to use. I want to have my program be called Spilled Ink. Press the Home key, spacebar to play it, and we see the title animate with our text inside. The cool thing is that these full screen animated titles work great. The bad thing is most of the time we don't work with titles full screen. Instead we would work with titles which are integrated with existing video. For instance, let's take a look at a, a title which we add both as a full screen title and as a connected clip. Let's say that I want to create a title for a nature show. Well in this case I'm going to go search for a title called Push. And there's a bunch to choose from, but I want this one. This time, instead of double-clicking it to load it at the position of the playhead, I'm going to drag it over. And as I do, I have the ability to position it either as a connected clip, which means above an existing clip, or I'm going to drag it down and put it into the primary storyline. When I do that, look at the title itself. As I play it, it's full screen. The reason the text is a little moth-eared moth is because it hasn't rendered yet. That's what that orange bar at the top of the timeline represents. But then it wipes away and goes into another, another piece of video. Well, for instance, if I put this title up here, you can see better what happens. It starts full screen, 
and wipes away to reveal the polar bear. For the complete version of this webinar, please visit my store at larryjordan.biz store.